Okay, under the bed. First thing. Yoga mat. Yeah. Both called it from the beginning. How is it so dusty underneath the bed? Wow, I'm so glad I'm cleaning this out. Woo! I need to go get my vacuum. Like right now. Yeah, right now. <laughs> I'm doing this now. Oh, one second. I don't think I can do it. I think I'm gonna even get my kids. Yeah, I can't. <laughs> I thought for sure I could fit under there. I think I'm not super pregnant yet, but you know how like everything else grows when you're pregnant? I can't fit under there. <laughs> oh, jeez. I didn't know this was under there. All done on this side. Should we go to the other side? This is the only next thing. Is it heavy? No. It's big though. And it's that. And you have to use it. It's a very long time. Oh. It'll be slow. Thank you. Like that is crazy. How? A gem. Oh, you found a gem? Nice. Thank you. How does it get so dusty under a bed? I'm so, I don't know, flabbergasted? Is that a word? Yeah, I think so. All right, that is fresh and clean. Yoga mat, piano cover, bags, more bags, books, old papers. He's, he's not someone you can give away. Pause, short intermission. Two. All right, go take it in your room. I love showing you guys what I'm pulling out and what I end up giving away because I want to constantly be reminding not only you guys but myself that the whole fear behind keeping stuff just doesn't need to be there. Like for instance, I kept some of these bags because I'm like, what if we go to the beach and I need to use them? No, I have like this tiny little net bag in the shed with the other beach toys that we have and I bring that to the beach every single time. I really don't need to bring this and or keep it. So there's so many things that through trial and error I've learned that you don't need to be afraid of keeping things just in case. So probably 70% of this stuff is gonna go and we have a storage shed which acts as our garage with like our bikes or golf clubs our high chair in there, maternity clothes that I definitely need to pull out. I am like barely fitting in these leggings. But yeah, that's where stuff is gonna go, which I don't even know what I'm gonna put in there. I don't think any of this stuff is gonna go in the shed, so I don't know why I bring that up, but we do have a shed and I like to keep it minimal too. So there's that, on to the next area. Okay, this has to be one of my favorite things to declutter, <laughs> my kids' toys. and. Don't hear me incorrectly. I love getting my kids really purposeful and intentional toys. I actually love playing with them. I love seeing them play with them, but it's these little knickknacks that I'm always picking up at the end of the day that just need to go. And for some reason, they always accumulate. There is nothing I can do. Trust me, I've tried. With two little boys that are home 24 seven with me, and you know, I'm separate for a few of those hours while I'm working and they're just in the living room, there's nothing I can do to actually stop these little trinkets from just showing up everywhere. So I'm gonna get rid of them. I'm gonna get rid of the things that are broken. I'm going to reorganize, put all of our magnet tiles in one basket, all of our baseball gloves and our balls in another, and then just keep one open for the miscellaneous things that just inevitably show up. You guys, I know my kids. I know what they need, what they don't need. I know what they love to do, both of them. They're very different. They have different interests. And sitting around with these little knickknacks isn't something that's high on their list. So I am 
so happy to get rid of these and I know they're probably not even gonna notice. I find that the kitchen can be the most simple place, but also the most easily cluttered, just because of things that you can put on your countertop. And for me personally, these huge appliances on top of my refrigerator and even on top of the shelf have been the biggest eyesore for me. So I'm gonna rearrange a few things. I'm gonna take all of our baking supplies and put them up here in this cabinet, and that creates space for these bigger items. I'm gonna squeeze them in here, finagle however they need to finagle, and that just, feel so much better. We use these almost every day, which is why they were on top of the fridge. And I love that they're tucked away neatly and nicely. And while I'm here, I might as well just declutter our pantry. It's always so satisfying when I do this. I really can't figure out why I forget to do this more often, probably because I'm constantly feeding these bottomless pits and my children and my husband. So it's just kind of come and go quickly, grab this, grab that. So I love reorganizing. I have my perfect supplements front and center because we use that almost every single day. I like keeping our fruit basket right here so that my kids can come and grab this. I mean, we have chips and popcorn and another bag of chips here, but they always grab the fruit first. So that's a little mom hack for you. And when Tay got home, all I wanted to do was show him my pantry because of how proud I was. Like this, this is my hub, this is my zone. So this feels really nice. Okay, we've made it to the boys room. This is a big task for me. It's a disaster because they just had rest time in here where I let them listen to like a kid's podcast and they build and they play. So you're seeing the clean angle right now, but you're also seeing Riker's new big boy bed, which is so exciting for me. Also a little bit emotional, but we use the company Five Little Monkeys. I was so excited to find this company because one, it's kind of dedicated to kids and two, their materials and what they use is high quality, non-toxic, organic materials, which is exactly what I'm looking for when I am picking out beds, places where we sleep for hours on end. And Riker actually was very asthmatic as a child and even had some big episodes last year. Since then, I feel like he's doing better, but I am so on top of keeping toxins out of our home. That includes the pillows he's sleeping on, the mattresses he's sleeping on, the couches that we have, the products that we're spraying everywhere. I just have to be on top of it because I need his central nervous system to not be constantly plagued with things and just for him to have a safe space, especially in the bedroom. So I'm so grateful for Five Little Monkeys. This literally is just a godsend for me. It's just so nice knowing that he's good. And he slept so soundly in this bed, like night and day difference. So we're just, we're excited all around. And the little box it came with, <laughs> the cutest thing ever. They're still playing with this every single day. We've had this bed set up for 10 days. They're just, they think of everything. And we got a mattress protector and a waterproof sheet that came with it and even a pillow just amazing so i'll leave the description for five little monkeys down below for you guys couldn't recommend them more i've had such a good experience and i will be using them for my next child's new bed okay there's a lot to do in this room thankfully it's a small space but it's a disaster right now so i'm going to call on the boys to get their help because this is their mess not mine i'm just helping them do it then i need tate's muscles to move some furniture and then we're going to declutter. Like I like setting it up for the declutter to be easier instead of just making a bigger mess. It's already kind of the evening and we have to make dinner. So I want the boys to go to bed in a clean space. Just kind of processing verbally with you guys how I make big projects work when I'm decluttering. Let's get to work.
forgot to vacuum. Have to do that first. It's very hard. Honestly, I do need tape. I don't think I can finish it. Yeah, I don't think I can do it. Good job, little one. But we need to stop. <laughs> okay, well, I <laughs> tried to wait. And it took me about two minutes to say, you know what, I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna keep doing it. So I did it. And I'm thinking, this is not an organization or decorating vlog, but I'm thinking because these are a little off center, like we have two antlers here, I'm going to move this over here. I'm gonna cover up those holes and then put this over the top. Long live boyhood. I love this. So that will be a project for another day. Now, now it's time to declutter. As you can tell, I'm worn, I'm tired, I'm battling, but we're not stopping. I'm just feeling too good, although that really did hurt my back moving that thing, but let's get it in adjustment. <laughs> It does? Yeah. It really does. Oh, my work did. How did you find it? Oh, I found it just through cleaning. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's better than ever. More room to play now. And it put Trace on. We get to run around here more. Huh? <laughs> and we get to play with our Legos. <laughs> empty the whole time we've lived here but needless to say oh my god breath. I don't do this decluttering because it's easy I think it's easier just to keep stuff around and just to buy more boxes but I declutter because I know what it feels like to live in a space where everything has purpose and intention this place it was just looming like I knew it needed to go just in due time and <laughs> the third baby on the way it's time, okay? And um, it feels so dang good to get this stuff out of here. I just, celebrating. What does it look like in there? It looks like no more toys. Oh. Oh. Look at this one. It looks green in here, Mom. Ugly drawings. Beautiful drawings, son. Mm -hmm. 